Um, we see a lot of echo chambers created on social media and a lot of that has created this information, um, uh, disinformation that has been weaponized um, and lacks sort of a robust educational perspective and a lot of, of high health illiteracy, um, which, which makes it really hard for us to present compelling evidence that is helpful to the population, which is what we're seeing lead to high rates of, of COVID infection and low rates of vaccination in many of our populations. Um, Butte County is also in an unprecedented change um, in the past couple of years. In 2017, we had the Oroville Dam that almost failed. Um, in 2018, obviously the, the campfire, which you know totally wiped out the town of Paradise. Um, in 2020, we had the North Complex fires, which also wiped out the town of Berry Creek. Um, and then this past summer, we had the, the Dixie Fire, um, which only touched the, the top of um, Butte County, but spread northwards. But again, sort of, we've been living in fire season for really long periods of time, which creates a lot of fear and, and distrust. I think a lot of this comes along with the idea that um, the things that have been supposed to keeping us safe are not keeping us safe. So whether it's federal forest fire sort of management, whether it is water and drought sort of water management from the state, um, the idea that, that the government has failed us and isn't protecting us um, is really big. And I think that feeds into these attitudes of distrust of the, the government and this idea that, well, should we believe them? They haven't kept us safe so far, so why would we think that they're going to keep us safe now, um, which combined with sort of these anti-science attitudes and low health literacy um, creates this perfect storm of, of people not really knowing who to trust and, and where to turn and, and how to protect themselves um, because it's really important. County. We have seen a lot of, of um, misinformation, some spreading of fear mongering and some other sort of things. Um, we know that that in a pandemic, information is constantly changing. Um, the CDC has had to revise some of its statements um, and you know, compared with, with the lack of, of science education and understanding of the general populace, this creates more of that distrust of the government doesn't know what they're doing rather than saying, no, actually the information is changing because that's what science does. Science changes as information changes. Um, instead, it just looks like, hey, public health doesn't know what they're doing. And so we can't trust anything that they say. And then unfortunately, that leads to a lot of leaders saying, hey, let's just do whatever we want. And we can see examples of that. Um, we've made national media way more times than I would have liked in the past couple of years, um, with Oroville declaring itself a constitutional republic, um, with, with a lot of, of these ideas about not having mask mandates and about resisting these different sort of things. Um, if you go out in Butte County, almost nobody's wearing masks, which is really difficult because we don't have a mask mandate. Um, when we look at sort of the, the chaos that's happened at some of our school board information has been really bad um, because people want their kids back in school, but don't want them to be vaccinated, don't want them to be wearing masks. And that's just a recipe for disaster. And so we need strong leadership to say, no, I know this is unpopular and I know that some of this stuff is really hard, but we need to do these sort of things.